has it on. So, okay, yeah, cool. Okay, so we're in Georgiana's bedroom, you guys. Georgiana, say hi. Hi. All right. So we had a an interesting, um, it's been an interesting few weeks, but an interesting day today. Right? Yes. So, so while everyone's joining here, we are in her bedroom, her pretty pink bedroom that is so cute and... It's hearts and it's a love room. <laughs> it's all pretty, pretty girly girl room. So anyway, Georgiana, let's see here. You're sitting on your bed. Where's Lily? Lily is right. Our little dog Lily sitting here on the bed with Georgie. She loves sitting here. <laughs> okay, so Georgiana. So uh, people are starting to join here. Um, so you want to kind of just tell everyone what happened today. What did you do? You went to a doctor's appointment. Um, yes, we went to the doctor's Wait, do you want me to start from, like, leaving? Okay, so let me, where's your face at? Okay, I have to check that. Okay, there you so, go. So, I was at school, and then Dad had to come pick me up. Like, um, mommy and Daddy. Mommy. And so, uh -huh. and then we went to go get Mommy, and then we went, um, to, um, the doctors, but I was really nervous, because, you know, it's, uh, it was, it's been painful, and I... Wait, well, it was starting, so some people might not know what's going on with okay. you, so... So why don't we just back up a little bit and just say you, you, um, you used to have uveitis in your eyes when you were three, yes. which um, was the same disease that mommy had when I was three in all my life. We caused my blindness. And but you, I didn't have any vision damage. No. We caught it early, right? And with aggressive chemotherapy treatments and, uh, and steroid treatments, we were able to get your um, uveitis, your arthritis in your eyes in remission. For but, but I was on treatment for four. You were on treatments for like four years, and, and you've been in remission for three, three and, and a half. half. Um, so do you want me to start from And so, mm -hmm. Okay, so then around Halloween time, uh, mm -hmm. the left side of my jaw was uh, starting to be, okay, okay, was starting to be a bit painful on the side. Mm -hmm. And whenever I would press like below my earlobe area, where the jaw is area right there, mm -hmm. I could, well, and then I opened and closed my mouth, it would pop. And, uh, and it was sore. But it was sore, but like nothing that I was that concerned about at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but so uh, we didn't really know what it was. Then um, a bit later on Thanksgiving time, my um, fingers were um, were starting to get be sore and puffy. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember you telling me about this when we were in Disneyland and we went to Disney right after uh, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the hotel room, Georgiana waking up in the morning and um, one of the mornings and telling me that my uh, that you had a couple of your fingers were sore and swollen, and they weren't hugely swollen, were they? They were just like a little bit yeah. puffy, but nothing that bad. Nothing just... super bad, but it was like, hmm, that was interesting. As long uh, in a, and it was you know going along with also her jaw hurting too. I was kind of like, um, hmm. Okay, well, we'll just keep a watch on it, right? Keep an eye on it. Um, and then a bit later, um, I started feeling my right hand on my ring finger. Mm -hmm. And then um, we, uh, we, en we, noticed, we ended up starting to notice them. The, one morning when I woke up, I tried to make my hand do a fist to see if it would actually close. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't close it at all into a fist. I could only go like halfway with the fingers that were really hurting. Same with my ring finger on my right hand. And uh, so, what, what, what did you think about it? Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, well, last week was really when um, it became, I mean, really severe, wouldn't you say, last week? Yeah. Um, but when we got back from Disney, when she had noticed that, you know, she had another finger that was swollen and um, it wasn't getting better, I did make an appointment um, for you to go and see your pediatric rheumatologist, but they couldn't get you in until um, January twenty fourth. Mm -hmm. But that was still okay. I was like, we can just still manage it until then with some ibuprofen because it wasn't super, super bad. And ibuprofen would help it for a bit. So, and then, and then last week, last Thursday actually, um, Georgiana woke up and things kind of definitely got worse, right? Yeah. And I remember you waking up last week and, and you were crying because you said your hands were so sore you couldn't make your fist, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, and you, we could actually feel, Daddy and I could really feel the fever in your fingers. And, and like, if you compared my fingers, you could definitely tell that this one was way puffier because it would go from, like, super skinny and then it would just, like, get really big. Puffy, mm-hmm. And jordy has been running a fever for the past year, too, which is another sign of inflammation. Um, she's been running a fever, but there was no other symptoms um, this past year yeah. until now. 
right? Yeah, it was it was always been ninety nine or like a hundred or late ninety, mm-hmm. but usually around ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we looked at our appointment, but then so we, yeah, and so so we made that appointment for the twenty fourth, and then last um, you know, so last Thursday I was just like, oh my gosh, we we need to get her in sooner. So um, I called uh, yesterday morning. And they actually had a cancellation today. And so we got her in, which was just a miracle. I answered a prayer, mm-hmm. right? And so we got her in to see her pediatric rheumatologist, which we love, Victoria, Dr. Victoria Cartwright here in Portland, Oregon. And um, Jordy was nervous, you guys, so, so nervous. I was like sweating. I was so scared because, you know, I don't really want this disease to come back again no because, not at all because of what happened before and it just wasn't good and it wasn't a good experience it's it it's, was not good at all so and the thing that Jordy, what i think is the most nervous about was the treatments because mm-hmm. their injections um kids that have juvenile arthritis are on really nasty drugs but they work they work really well i've never had these kind of treatments when i was a kid they weren't there for me until i was in high school um in my college years so i mean they're a blessing but they're not fun and their injections their chemotherapy injections their biological injections infusions different things and georgiana had to do the chemo injections and it it really um psychologically i think traumatized her and she would um you know vomit and stuff with her injections and so i think that scared you right yeah i didn't want to do that again no way it was just really hard for me to take especially because i was younger then too but uh, it was really hard um and then we you know we went into the appointment today yeah Mm -hmm. today and um so I was starting to get a little sweaty because I was a bit scared. Am I getting you, Georgie? Um, let me see. I'm going to come back here. Hold on. Make sure I'm okay, getting you. Okay, there. Okay. 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 21 people are on. Okay. So so you went into the appointment with Mommy and Daddy. And you what happened? Uh-huh. And Dr. Cartwright comes in, and she, so sweet. Mm-hmm. We're, she, we're like friends with, with our doctor, right? <laughs> yeah. She's got two little girls around your it's an, it's his age, and, and so she just calms you down right yeah and she looks after talking with you and getting you all comfortable and relaxed um check me out she checks your joints out I'm totally hurt of work. and what did and what did she end up saying to you today i have 12 joints affected by arthritis yeah 12 <laughs> joints. She, no, 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 no. and it's called polyarticular <laughs> Go and go let Lily out. Yeah, honey, you want to go let Lily out the room? Yeah. Okay. Lily, you go. <laughs> okay. So you have polyarticular arthritis, which you means you have arthritis in yeah, more than more, five joints. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Daddy must be home. <laughs> so. Oh, let me see what joints have it in. Yeah, so go ahead. And so it, like what we thought, I have it in my. <laughs> I have my middle and ring finger. Let me see uh, where you are. Normal joints. Okay. Oh my gosh. My, okay. My middle and ring finger normal joints, and then the jo- the lower joint below. Mm-hmm. My hand. Okay. And so the lower joint below on each hand, and uh, I ended up having it. I forgot which thumb. I think it's my left thumb. Mm-hmm. Yes, thumb. The, this joint right there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I like also we thought on um, my right right hand on my ring finger, mm-hmm. right the ring there. Finger. I had it in both joints. You, ha- you have it, yes. Mm-hmm. Both I have it. Joints. Sorry. <laughs> Not had it. You have it, yes. And then I have it in... Okay, let's work And then we'll see. Okay. And then you I have, have it, it in each side of my jaw, um, uh, like we also thought. But what we didn't know is that I actually have it in both my knees, but I didn't really feel it. But she said it's because just I have hypermobility She's in my ha- knees. She has hi- Jordiana has hypermobility. So it's um, more difficult for her to feel some of the swelling, especially like in her knees. Um, Dr. Carwright says she wouldn't uh, probably notice the swelling until it was like grapefruit size, like knees, her knees, you know. So, um, but there's definitely a um, good amount of fluid on her knees right now and on um, your left like, ankle. And actually, 
um, earlier, was it that morning? This morning. Yeah, this, the this morning Jordiana comes down the stairs for breakfast and she said, Mommy, my left ankle is really sore. But I thought it was just from running because PE, yes, yeah, PE yesterday. Yesterday was uh, we did lots and lots of running and. Um, so you thought you just kind of uh, overdid well, it? Yeah, on, on my left ankle. So, but then it turned out actually it was arthritis in my uh, left ankle. Mm -hmm. So I have an And Dr. Cartwright was really sad today. Yes. Yeah. Like I honestly don't think, I didn't think she, I don't think she actually expected to find it. So, you know, in Georgie, all these joints, it was, I think, a shocker for her. Um, and um, yeah, she, you know, this doctor, our doctors just care so much for our kids. And I mean, she's been seeing Georgie, um, you know, for, gosh, six years. Um, I know. Yeah, so it's, um, it's really, it's really hard, um, but, you know, what are we going to do, Georgie? Uh, I, so I'm getting put on, um, uh, the methotrexate. Methotrexate? But not injections. I'm getting and what is methotrexate? It's a chemotherapy injection, and so, um, since I really did hard, I was really not well with the injections. You didn't do really well with them back when you yeah. were younger. Um, so they put me on the methotrexate pills, which I tried then, but uh, they I couldn't swallow pills. But now you can swallow pills. Yes. Yeah, so um, that's much more better for me. And so, um, and then we also put me on uh, what's it called? Um, hey, make sure I'm doing this right. Make sure is it in? okay? Yeah, three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you put me on steroids, right? Yes, we're going to put her on oral steroids for six weeks because oral steroids is a good, you know, band-aid. It kind of will just instantly make her joints um, feel better, less it will remove some inflammation and give you some relief temporarily. Um, it's, it's just a quick fix. It's not a permanent fix. Um, for the methotrexate, the chemotherapy pills, it will take you know, Couple six months. weeks, at least six to eight weeks for it to actually, Kick for it. you to see any kind of effect. And, um, and uh, since Jordiana is having to do the chemotherapy in the pill form, um, it's not as effective as it would be if she was to do the injections, but she says she can't do the injections. Um, and, um, you know, that's fine. Dr. Carr it was totally fine with that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to do that. And, and it's then, not effective. And and if it does not work in a couple of months, we'll we'll know if it's going to work or not, right? Then we're going to put me on this other type of pill. There's what? another. There's a couple of um, new drugs that there. Jordy might enroll into the study. Um, yeah. Uh, she'll because be a guinea it pig. Hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't been tested on kids. There's yet. one drug called a uh, Zelgams and. Um. There's the other uh, one. Another uh, one called uh, Symphony. It's an infusions. Infusions where she'd have to go in once yeah. every two months for half a day and, um, and and get an infusion. So, but we'll um. So you guys can just be praying with us that the chemotherapy pills will work, um, mm -hmm. because the other drugs, you know, they're they're stronger. They're biological drugs, so they're lots harsher. I mean, none of them are great. I mean, they're right chemo and biological drugs so anyway so you guys can just be in prayer with all of us with georgie that her body will um will res respond great right will respond yeah. um to this um, chemotherapy pills right mm -hmm. yeah so and how do you feel about this georgie i'm not happy about it but i'm okay about getting the pills though because <laughs> i was scared that i would be put on injections yeah um but i'm on pills for now which is really relieving yeah me. and so the thing that goes along with it with these chemotherapy drugs too um is that it lowers her immune system um mm -hmm. so you guys can be praying that she you know um, her body sick. will resist any kind of infections right um so it, it can make you you know just not feel so great yeah. um, we're going to give her her pills she takes um eight, eight chemotherapy week. pills once a week and then i take my um steroids um you'll take morning. your steroids every, every morning, morning for six weeks we'll do that um and just see how it goes huh so yeah it's um 
It's a journey we didn't think we would be taking with you, Georgie. Yeah. And it, um, it, it's, it's sad. It's sad for us, for Mommy and Daddy, for all of us, you know, um, right? Isabella was sad to hear it today when she got home from school. Um, never thought I'd have you back on these drugs again. Um, and never thought I'd have it in my joints. I never thought you'd have it in your joints. Um, you know, this is my disease, and um, I, I hate that I have, you know, not on purposely, but, you know, I it's part of my DNA, right? I've given you... Um, I, you know, pass this down to you girls, and um, I hate it. It's but not my fault. I know it's not my fault. But I love you girls so much. Mom and Daddy would do anything to take it away from you. I would take it from you right now if I could. You know that, right, baby? Yeah. Yeah. And I've been where you are, so that helps too, right? That mommy knows what you're feeling. Yeah. I know the pain in your hands. I know your jaw pain in your knees, like your ink. I know it all, so I can sympathize with you and Isabella. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to tell everyone who's, who's listening, who's watching, that has been praying for you, who's going to continue praying for you? I want to say thank you for all your prayers um, and that uh, I'm, I'm sure that I'll get through this and yeah. hopefully it will not take that long. Mm-hmm. Let's see where she Yeah, there you are. Yeah. But we'll never know. Yeah, and God's given you strength, right, Jordy? Yes. Yes. And God knows, you know, He knows what, what we need when we need it, and He's going to, you know, make you stronger through all of this, right? Okay. And you'll be able to advocate and turn this around, right, to help somebody else? Yes. How many other kids? Oh, and today, like, you've even been able to talk to some of your uh, JA friends already. Yes. And some of your JA friends, your authorized friends, have encouraged you. Yep. Yeah. So how's that? That's nice, right? You have the yes. the juvenile arthritis community, a big family to wrap their arms around you. Yeah. Huh. So we have a lot to to still be grateful for, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you want to tell everyone um, bye and yes. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Georgia. I love you too. Mm-hmm. You're my my everything. You and Isabella. Okay. Daddy. Okay. I right, love you Bye. guys. You guys Thank keep you Georgie so much. in your prayers and we'll keep you posted um, you know, as we begin her treatment. So Daddy was actually getting your medication at the um, pharmacy, right? Okay. I think so, I just got it. So we'll start your steroids tonight. So hopefully she'll be feeling better tomorrow, you guys. All right, thanks again for all your prayers, your love, your comments. Um, keep them coming. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Finish. Button.